Just roll the titles. Oh boy. So, I went and saw a movie, not anything I had planned to see, not my usual wheelhouse. I went with a friend uh, who I haven't seen in a little bit. Um, I don't, who I don't see as often as I would like to, if I'm being completely honest. And she really wanted to see this, and I said, okay, I'll, sure. I, I didn't think I was going to like it. But who knows, I've been surprised. Every now and then, romantic comedies actually do it for me. It's rare, but it can happen, and she seemed excited to see it, so we gave it a go. That movie was Last Christmas. And... Wow. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ramble and talk about what this thing was, because I don't know how well it did at the box office. I don't think that great. There were only two other people in the theater, granted it's been out for a little bit. But, uh, and I don't even feel bad slagging this off because, you know, about 40 minutes into the movie, she and I started snarking at each other over what we were watching. So, <laughs> this movie takes its title and claims to be inspired by the George Michael song Last Christmas. And, and apparently Emma Thompson who is in this we'll get back to that uh, co-wrote and co-produced this. Now I like Emma Thompson but I, okay, so looking at the trailers to this thing, it looked like your fairly standard, maybe slightly above um, Hallmark original movie kind of Christmas romantic comedy fluff. That's what it looked like. It looked, it looked harmless. And the only reason that it wasn't on something like the Hallmark Channel or Netflix airing after the sequel to The Christmas Prince uh, is because it had higher caliber actors. Um, you know, it, it's got Amelia Clark. It's got, I cannot remember his name now, but the guy who was the uh, male lead in Crazy Rich Asians, who's, a, who's wonderfully charming. Emma Thompson, who I mentioned, she is uh, in this as well. And there are um, a few other people who I recognized here and there. Uh, Peter Serafinowicz. Um, and, and there were some others as well. It's got a, it's got a decent cast. They did, they licensed not only Last Christmas from George Michael, but it appears a whole big chunk of his catalog because most of the music that you hear in this is uh, George Michael. So apparently they decided to get their money's worth out of that. And so, it, you know, it just looked, it looked like it was going to be cheesy and fine. So, we're, it starts and... Amelia Clark is a drunken, promiscuous mess. She does it quite charmingly. And actually, that's worth noting. The actors are not bad in this. I don't entirely know why Emma Thompson felt the need to play the role that she does. But, but even she's not bad in it. Um, so the acting is fine. The acting is not what's like, what is going on? Oh, Michelle Yeoh. That's another one who's in this. Um... So, oh boy. So yeah, Amelia Clark is a is a drunken, unstable mess, and she is being repeated. She basically just keeps getting drunk and screwing up, and keeps getting kicked out of home after home, flat after flat, burning through her friends effectively until they write her off, um, and refusing to go back in with her parents. And she works at a year-round Christmas shop, although the fact that it's year-round is incidental because it is actually Christmas season for this. And she works for Michelle Yeoh, who, who is called Santa. Um, and she's just, she's just kind of playing the dragon lady boss. 
And there's this really weird subplot where this guy who I guess is German comes in and there's like, I guess it's supposed to be instant chemistry between him and Michelle Yeoh as characters, except they overplayed it. It was so like, uh, and like weird. They're just, they're just saying words to fill the space and they're just, they're just trying to, to be keeping connected with each other. And it's these weird, awkward lines, but it was so intense. I made the assumption that like, this was somebody she knew a long time ago. And hence, like this, this was way too strong to be at these people had never seen each other before. Except that's what it was. They'd literally never seen each other before. But we were just staring and saying awkward lines. Like, would you like to buy this screeching Christmas gibbon? And I'm not even making that up. There was a sparkly, shiny little gibbon that screeched. I, apparently that was supposed to be funny. The humor is very... Okay, that's funny, I guess. Not a lot of it's funny. A lot of it's just kind of weird. They're not even bad jokes. They're just weird jokes. It's like, that's that's not quite bizarre enough to be a non sequitur. But it's too weird to just be. Uh, so, um, Amelia Clark character uh, is an aspiring singer and, and performer. She has auditions. She keeps failing. And she randomly runs into uh, this guy, Tom. And the two of them, you know, start hanging out. He's He is very, I would actually say, aggressively charming. Like, he's got so many charming quirks. It's like, dude, this is, this is too much. Like, he kind he kind of dances whenever he he goes anywhere. He's always like, "Oh, you need to look up," and he like keep like finding reasons to have her look up, and it's 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 weird. Thankfully, she does point out that he's weird, um, but at the same time, he is like super charming, and he certainly, um, yeah, he he. There's it doesn't given how. Um, non-discriminating she's been shown to be. There doesn't seem to be a reason for her to point out that he's weird. She does. She seems to go for a pretty wide variety of people who don't seem to have all that much going for them. And I know all of this sounds pretty standard. And to start it is, except that about 40 minutes in, uh, my friend and I realized there isn't really a plot going on. Amelia Clark is there, and yeah, she's kind of a mess, but she's not really on a personal journey, and Tom seems to, you know, want her to do better, but isn't really making it a mission to try and fix her, and in fact, they go for long stretches without the two of them being together, so their relationship is there, but it doesn't seem to be central, and there's all this side stuff with her, with um, Amelia Clark's character, Kate, that's her, that's the character's name, with Kate's parents, um, who are from former Yugoslavia, which I mentioned Emma Thompson. So, yeah, she plays Kate's mother, who's from Yugoslavia. So you have Emma Thompson, one of the great English actors, d delivers amazing, uh, you know, dialogue, talking this stilted, broken Yugoslavian accent. I don't know why. And... Uh, oh, uh, so, if anybody has heard anything about this at all, you may have heard that there's a twist. And I kind of figured there was going to be some sort of twist regarding Tom, because there were odd things. He kept odd hours. He was missing from a lot of things. He, he seemed to be hard for her to track down sometimes. What I thought what it was going to end up being was that, like, he was a, maybe he was a squatter or he was homeless because there was sort of a running thing of people in worse situations than Kate and, like, maybe it was going to turn out to be something like that. I didn't know. My friend who I went with, she actually called this about a little less than an hour into the movie. She called what the twist was. And she said to me what she thought it was. 
And I laughed harder than I did in anything at the movie. Because I'm like, <laughs> boy, wouldn't that be crazy if they were stupid enough to do that? <laughs> so, if I were to tell you that nobody besides Kate actually interacts with Tom, nobody else has any lines with him, uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of acknowledgement of his existence. When she asks people about Tom, they're like, who? Um, if I tell you that, what would you think the twist might end up being? There's a couple of options, I suppose. I suppose he could just be a figment of her imagination, or like an angel, or it could be what they did, which is that he's dead. And she's dating a ghost in a story that in no way prior to the reveal of this fact in like the last 15 minutes or so has established any sort of even vague, spiritual, ghostly, supernatural, or even really religious intonations to justify having had a ghost just hanging around and like bonding with Kate. And it gets, it gets better, which is to say that it gets more insane and stupider because it's not just that he's a ghost. So it gets laid in very early on that about a year ago, Kate underwent some sort of major surgery. She was quite sick. And we find out about oh, two thirds of the way in that what happened was she had, she almost died and she had a heart transplant. So <laughs> I can't even say this. So Tom, <laughs> it's not just that Tom's dead. He was the heart donor. <laughs> he had an accident and he was an organ donor. So it's his heart in her chest because last Christmas I Gave you my heart. Oh my God. <laughs> what did I watch? What is this thing? How did people as talented, it's directed by Paul Feig. I don't love every movie the man's ever made, but he's not an untalented director and you know, usually he gets he has a better taste in scripts than this. I I don't Why? Why? Why why was this written? What like I Emma Thompson, I get she she wrote it, she produced it, she's got friends, you know, in high places, she can pull in the talent, but like she can't generate out of nowhere the budget it would have taken to do this so somebody looked at this script and this idea and of a ton of george michael music and said yes let's throw tens of millions of dollars at that <laughs> to say last Christmas I <laughs> last Christmas <gasps> holy crap <sighs> I've got I you know I've had stuff break me before like by depressing the crap out of me. Black Mirror has done that. I've had stuff break me because of how angry it's made me. Um, but I don't think I've had anything break me just out of WTF.
Miss. <laughs> I got nothing left. Last Christmas, did anyone else see this thing? Or whatever your thoughts are. Comment section, let me have it. Patreon, much appreciated. Subscribe, like. Oh, God. Have a great holiday. Don't see this movie. <laughs> I mean, I guess go ahead if you want. I've spoiled it for you, but I can't tell you what to do because at the end of the day, you're the council. I'm just the crazy person running the meetings. Until next time, this council is adjourned. What the hell?